Managing self-hosted applications, databases, and services across platforms can be complex. Developers often juggle with container orchestration, environment configuration, networking, and SSL management, all while maintaining reliability, scalability, and security in their deployments. Well, this is exactly where Coolify can be leveraged. Combined with Vulture, it simplifies deployment workflows while giving you complete control over your infrastructure. Hello everyone, I'm Sanskriti Harmok, a developer relations at Vulture, and in today's tech talk, we will break down Coolify's capabilities, explore how Vulture Coolify Marketplace application streamlines server setup, and conclude with a hands-on demo deploying a fully managed application on a Vulture instance using Coolify. So, to see it all in action, let's dive right into it. Let's touch on the basics first. Coolify is an open source self-hostable platform as a service that lets you run and manage applications on your own infrastructure. It automates deployment and management not only for applications but also for databases and supporting services, handling containers, networking and dependencies behind the scenes. Coolify includes built-in reverse proxy with automatic SSL so your application runs securely over HTTPS right out of the box. It also integrates with Git allowing your projects to be built and and deployed automatically whenever you push changes, keeping everything up to date with minimal effort. Vulture's Coolify Marketplace application gives you a ready-to-use instance in just one click, and the pre-configured environment lets you start deploying immediately. Coolify comes pre-installed with Docker, a reverse proxy, and all the necessary dependencies so your projects can run without any extra setup. This means you don't have to worry about OS configurations, runtime installations, or even version conflicts. The Marketplace application also sets up core networking and basic connectivity automatically so your instance is ready for secure container deployments right away. On top of that, Coolify provides log integration, health checks, and real-time notifications, giving you full visibility into your applications directly from the dashboard. Let's now look at how Coolify manages your projects on a Vulture instance. On the top of the flow, we have the core resources, applications, databases, and services. Each can be deployed as isolated containers orchestrated by Coolify. These resources are continuously monitored. You can configure health checks to ensure they run correctly. If a container stops or fails, Coolify can automatically restart it. Deployment logs are also available in the dashboard, so you can track builds, runtime errors, and configuration issues as they happen. All the deployments, environment variables, and configurations remain on your instance, giving you complete control over your infrastructure. Coolify also offers a real-time terminal allowing direct access to containers and underlying servers for debugging or maintenance without leaving the dashboard. Finally, at the bottom of the flow, Coolify handles networking, security, and accessibility. Its built-in reverse proxy manages routing, automatic SSL provisioning secures traffic over HTTPS, and DNS-based routing directs requests correctly. Overall, it abstracts infrastructure complexity, offering a unified dashboard for rapid, secure, and reliable self-hosted deployments. Now that we have covered how Coolify manages deployments and orchestrates application, let's see it in action. In this demo, we'll deploy a sample web application onto a Vulture server using the Coolify Marketplace application. We'll walk through the process of creating a new project, connecting a Git repository, configuring environment variables, and setting up health checks. Finally, we'll deploy the application and configure a custom domain with HTTPS enabled. By the end of this demo, you'll see how quickly and reliably a fully self-hosted application can be up and running using Coolify on Vulture. Coolify abstracts away much of the DevOps overhead, so what usually takes hours of setup can be done in minutes. Let's walk through how this plays out on a Vulture instance. For that, open the Vulture customer portal and head to the compute section under products and here click on deploy server. First, select the compute type. You can choose from an optimized cloud compute or a regular cloud compute depending on the performance and isolation you need. Then, pick a region that is geographically closer to your user base. Further, choose the compute plan that satisfies your application requirements. Then, click configure and switch to the marketplace apps tab. Here, select Coolify from the available pool. Now, add an SSH key to securely access your instance remotely later if needed. Further, provide a label for easier access identification. From the list of additional features, go ahead with limited user login for security purposes. Once everything is done, review the deployment 
deploy summary and hit deploy. This action will launch a fresh instance with Coolify installed on your Vulture account. Now that our instance is up and running, let's open it to fetch the server information. Here under app instructions, you'll find an endpoint URL using which you can access the Coolify dashboard. Open this link in your browser. Here, you will be prompted to create an admin account. For that, enter your name and email address and set a strong password that satisfies Coolify's requirements. Once done, click on register to complete the process. If you are familiar with Coolify or prefer to explore it independently, then click on skip onboarding. Otherwise, click on get started to walk through the first time configuration wizard. Here, the introductory page highlights key features and explains how the Coolify platform streamlines application deployment. Click next to continue. Choose local host as your deployment target. This maps to the Vulture instance where your Coolify Marketplace application is running. In Coolify, projects organize related applications, databases and services under a single namespace. Click on create new project to initialize your first project container. Now to create your first resource, whether it's an application, a database or a pre-packaged service such as WordPress, click on let's do it. Finally, this takes you to the resource page in the dashboard from where you can continue. In case you skipped onboarding, you can navigate back to the projects and click add to create a new project. Coolify automatically creates a default production environment when a project is initialized. Click on add resource and this will take us to the same page we reached after completing the onboarding. Resources are the core units that Coolify deploys and manages. From here, we can define a new deployable asset. My application resides in a public Git repository. It is a simple Node.js application that displays live visitor statistics, exposes multiple API endpoints to fetch deployment information, and includes a form to submit messages. So, to import the same, I'll choose Git-based public repository. If you are using a different resource, then choose the appropriate type instead. You have have a lot of options available to select from. For now, we'll go ahead with the Git-based public repository. Here, let's enter the repository URL and click on Check Repository. This triggers the process of Coolify validating the URL and inspecting the repository structure. Once the repository is recognized, we need to configure a few options. For starters, branch defaults to main which you can change later if your application uses a different primary branch. Next, select the appropriate build pack for your application. Next packs automatically detect the language and builds apps in Node.js, Python, Go, Rust, and others. Static is for pre-built static sites using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Dockerfile builds the app using a custom Dockerfile present in the repository, whereas Docker Compose deploys multi-container apps defined in the docker-compose.yaml file. In our case, we'll proceed with Nixpax. The base directory defaults to the repository root. Change if your application resides in a subdirectory. Further, specify the port your app listens to. Coolify uses it for routing and health checks. Finally, enable this option if your app contains only static assets and no server-side runtime. Once done, click continue to proceed to the configuration interface. As you can see, after initial configuration, a Coolify-generated domain has been assigned to our web application. Now, this is where the application goes live upon deployment. For now, we'll stick with this one. But please note that this domain domain uses HTTP without SSL. Attempting to use HTTPS with such domains causes certificate validation failures due to let's encrypt rate limits on public wildcard domains. To avoid any issues, we'll configure a custom domain shortly. From this general configuration page, you can further fine-tune build behavior, networking, and runtime settings if needed. If your application requires environment variables, you can navigate to the environment variable section and click add. Here, provide a name, the corresponding value, and configure the availability options. You can choose to inject the variable during the build process, but we prefer exposing it into the runtime container. Is literal prevents variable interpolation and is multiline allows new line character in the value. Once configured, click save to persist the value. Repeat the process for as many variables as needed by your application. I've created two for mine. Next, go to health check section in the left sidebar to configure application monitoring. Even if your application exposes its own health endpoint, Coolify can perform independent health checks and restart containers that fail or become unresponsive. To activate health monitoring, click on Enable Health Check and modify the parameters to suit your application. Once done, click Save. Finally, click Deploy to start the deployment process with configured settings. Click Show Debug Logs in the Deployment tab to inspect build and deployment outputs in real time. This logs help identify configuration errors, missing dependencies, 
redundancies or built failures before the impact production. When the deployment completes successfully, the message deployment is finished appears and the application status changes from exited to running. Click on the links and retrieve the link where the application is live. As you can see, our application loads correctly and is accessible at the given link. However, because the Coolify generated domain is served over HTTP, certain actions like submitting the message form or other post request may not function properly. This is due to browsers enforcing mixed content restrictions which block non-secure requests when the page is expected to be secured. So to fully test features, let's configure a custom domain ensuring secure and complete functionality. For that, you can either purchase a new domain or use an existing one from your preferred domain registrar. Then add a records pointing to your Vulture Coolify instance. This can be done through your registrar's DNS setting or via Vulture DNS. To carry on rest of the steps, let's switch back to the configuration page in our Coolify dashboard. Coolify uses traffic as a reverse proxy to route traffic and manage SSL certificates. If you configure a custom domain, traffic automatically requests and provisions a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. Now to serve our application on the custom domain, Let's replace the Coolify generated domain with our custom domain using HTTPS. Next, set redirection to allow both www and non www domains. To apply the changes, click Save Place next to General. Next, navigate to Advanced. Here, verify that Force HTTPS is enabled. This setting redirects all HTTP traffic to HTTPS, ensuring secure connection. Now, click Redeploy to deploy the application with updated domain configuration. Once the deployment finishes, let's click Click links again to access our application via the custom domain. Our application is now accessible over HTTPS on our custom domain as indicated by the browser's site information. The certificate is also valid. You can click on it to fetch more details. Let's try submitting a new message. Once done, hit send message. Ta-da! This confirms that the application functions correctly. You can also make independent GET and POST requests to the listed API endpoints to test the additional functionality, such as retrieving stats, checking health of the application, or sending messages programmatically. With that, we have deployed a fully functional Node.js application using Coolify on a Vulture instance. To explore the Coolify dashboard and follow these steps at your own pace, refer to the supporting reference guide linked in the description below. To summarize, deploying Coolify on Vulture gives you a fully self-hosted platform to run and manage your applications, databases, and services. It simplifies the complexity of container orchestration, networking, and SSL setup, all while ensuring your deployments remain secure and scalable. If you would like to try this yourself, then launch your own Coolify instance through the Vulture Marketplace and start deploying projects with just a few clicks. To get started, claim $250 in free credits on a new Vulture account using the promo link attached in the description below. For any questions or to connect with other developers exploring self-hosted workflows, join the conversation on the Vulture Community Forum. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope this session helped you optimize your self-hosted deployments with Coolify on Vulture.